Welcome back, deep thinkers. You know, studies show that people who negotiate effectively earn significantly more money over their lifetimes. We're talking potentially hundreds of thousands of dollars more. Now that's a big deal, right? It's not just about the money though, it's about feeling empowered, respected, and in control of your own life. Today, we're diving deep into the art of negotiation. We're going to unpack 10 real-life scenarios where mastering this skill can dramatically improve your relationships, your career, and your overall well-being. Get ready to take notes because this information is pure gold. We're talking practical strategies, proven tactics, and real-world examples that you can start using today. Let's get started. All right, let's talk relationships. And I don't just mean romantic relationships, I'm talking about any significant partnership where you're sharing a life, a space, or responsibilities. Because let's face it, resentment builds up faster than a clogged drain when one person feels like they're carrying the weight of the world while the other's out there whistling Dixie. Now negotiating household responsibilities isn't about keeping score. It's not about winning or losing. It's about open, honest communication and finding a balance that works for both parties. Start by sitting down with your partner and making a list of all the tasks that need to get done around the house. And don't be shy about getting specific. We're talking laundry, dishes, grocery shopping, yard work, the whole nine yards. Once you've got your list, talk about which tasks each of you enjoys more, or at least dislikes less. Maybe one of you hates doing dishes but doesn't mind folding laundry, that's valuable information. Then, consider your schedules and commitments. If one person works longer hours or has a more unpredictable schedule, it's only fair to adjust the division of labor accordingly. Remember, this is a partnership. You're on the same team, working towards a common goal, a happy, harmonious home. Let's talk about something a lot of people dread, salary negotiation. Many people, especially women, feel uncomfortable asking for what they deserve. They think it's greedy or pushy. But let me tell you something, deep thinkers, knowing your worth and advocating for yourself is not greedy, it's essential. When you're negotiating your salary, you're not just talking about a number, you're talking about your value, your skills, and your contributions to the company. Before you even step into that negotiation, do your homework. Research the average salary for your position in your industry and location. Websites like Glassdoor and Salary.com can be really helpful for this. Next, prepare a list of your accomplishments and contributions to the company. Quantify your achievements whenever possible. Instead of saying, I improved customer satisfaction, say, I increased customer satisfaction by 15% as measured by our quarterly surveys. During the negotiation, be confident and assertive, but not aggressive. Remember, this is a conversation, not a confrontation. Listen to what the other person has to say and be prepared to negotiate and never ever lowball yourself. You're worth it. You're... Let's be honest, negotiating with kids can feel like negotiating with a tiny terrorist sometimes. They're master manipulators, they know your buttons and they're not afraid to push them. But even though it can be challenging, it's crucial to teach your children the art of negotiation from a young age. Now, when it comes to chores, allowance or screen time, involve your kids in the process. Instead of dictating rules, have a conversation. Ask for their input and be willing to compromise. For example, instead of saying, you have to clean your room right now, try, hey, I know you want to go play outside and I need your room cleaned up. How about we set a timer for 15 minutes, you see how much you can get done, and then we'll talk about it. When your child helps around the house or exhibits good behavior, acknowledge their efforts and praise their contributions. Positive reinforcement goes a long way. Remember, negotiating with children is about finding a balance between setting boundaries and giving them a voice. It's about teaching them responsibility, respect, and the importance of communication. Whether you're planning a wedding, a birthday party, or a family reunion, event planning can test even the most patient soul, but it doesn't have to be a recipe for disaster. Negotiation is your secret weapon for keeping everyone happy, including yourself. First things first, establish a budget and stick to it. This will help you narrow down your options and avoid overspending. Next, be upfront and transparent with your vendors about your budget and your expectations. Don't be afraid to ask for discounts or to negotiate payment plans. When it comes to decision-making, involve key stakeholders in the process. If you're planning a wedding, for example, talk to your partner, your parents, and maybe even your closest friends about their vision for the event. Remember, compromise is key. You're not always going to get everything you want, but by being flexible and willing to negotiate, you can create an event that everyone will enjoy. Let's face it, conflicts are inevitable in any relationship. 
whether it's with a partner, a family member, or a friend, disagreements are bound to happen. But how you handle those conflicts can make all the difference. The key to successful conflict resolution is to approach the situation with empathy and understanding. Put yourself in the other person's shoes and try to see things from their perspective. Instead of interrupting or getting defensive, practice active listening. Really hear what the other person is saying, both verbally and non-verbally. Once you've both had a chance to express your feelings, work together to find a solution that addresses both of your needs. This might involve compromise, creative problem solving, or simply agreeing to disagree. Remember, conflict doesn't have to be destructive. In fact, it can be an opportunity for growth and deeper understanding. Deadlines. They're the heartbeat of the workplace, but they can also be a major source of stress. Whether you're negotiating deadlines with your boss, your team, or your clients, it's essential to be proactive and assertive. Before you agree to any deadline, make sure you have a clear understanding of the scope of the project, the resources available to you, and any potential roadblocks. If you feel like a deadline is unrealistic, don't be afraid to speak up. Explain your concerns to your boss or your client and propose an alternative timeline. Once a deadline is set, manage expectations by providing regular updates on your progress. If you encounter any unexpected delays, communicate them immediately and offer solutions. Remember, negotiating deadlines is about finding a balance between meeting your obligations and maintaining your sanity. Family vacations. They're supposed to be fun, relaxing, and a time to create lasting memories. But let's be real, they can also be a recipe for disaster if you're not careful. The key to a successful family vacation is planning and communication. Before you even book a flight or reserve a hotel room, involve everyone in the decision-making process. Talk about your budget, your interests, and your expectations for the trip. If you have young children, consider their needs and limitations. Once you've chosen a destination, create an itinerary that includes a mix of activities for everyone, but don't overschedule yourselves. Leave room for spontaneity and downtime, and most importantly, be flexible. Things don't always go according to plan, and that's okay. Roll with the punches, and remember that the most important thing is spending quality time together. Negotiating with vendors can feel intimidating, but it's an essential part of event planning. Whether you're booking a venue, hiring a photographer, or securing a caterer, it's important to remember that you have leverage. Before you contact any vendors, do your research. Get quotes from multiple vendors, compare their prices and services, and read reviews from previous clients. When you're ready to negotiate, be prepared to walk away if you're not getting what you want. Vendors are more likely to be flexible if they know you have other options. Don't be afraid to ask for discounts, especially if you're booking multiple services or if you're planning your event during the off-season. And always get everything in writing. A contract protects both you and the vendor and ensures that everyone is on the same page. Boundaries. They're not about being selfish or shutting people out. They're about protecting your time, your energy, and your emotional well-being. Setting boundaries is essential in any relationship, whether it's with a partner, a family member, a friend, or a colleague. Start by identifying your non-negotiables. What are the things that you absolutely will not tolerate? This might include disrespect, dishonesty, or breaches of trust. Once you know your boundaries, communicate them clearly and assertively. Don't be afraid to say no or to set limits on your time and availability. Remember, you teach people how to treat you. By setting boundaries, you're showing them what you will and will not accept. Negotiating a promotion or a raise can feel daunting, but it's a crucial step in advancing your career. Before you even schedule a meeting with your boss, make sure you're prepared to make your case. Start by documenting your accomplishments and contributions to the company. Quantify your achievements whenever possible and highlight your skills and experience. Research the average salary for your position in your industry and location, so you know what to expect. During the negotiation, be confident and assertive, but not aggressive. Explain why you deserve a promotion or a raise and be prepared to negotiate. Remember, your career is a marathon, not a sprint. Don't be afraid to advocate for yourself and to ask for what you deserve. So there you have it, deep thinkers. 10 real-life examples of how mastering negotiation can empower you in all areas of your life. Remember, negotiation is not about being pushy or aggressive. It's about effective communication, understanding your worth, and finding solutions that work for everyone involved. Now I want to hear from you. Tell me in the comments below which of these negotiation scenarios resonated with you the most. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more empowering content. Until next time, 
keep those brains firing and remember, you are capable of achieving anything you set your mind to. Thanks for watching Deep Thinkers.